Good morning, it's Monday the 20th of July. So here I am in the man's garden. Over the last months it's been a place of rest and a haven. It's been wonderful to see plants grow and flourish. And it's also been an escape at times from all that's going on and from phone calls and emails. So regularly when it's been nice weather, Sarah and I have been found out here, planting and potting, feeding and deadheading, mowing and trimming. I was a bit taken aback recently when someone asked, whose garden is it? I suppose my initial reaction was, well of course it's our garden, or maybe well, it actually belongs to the church, but we're doing a fairly good job of looking after it. However, as I thought about it, it proved an interesting question. We're not the only ones to spend time in the garden. There's a whole range of birds, animals, insects and plants that all live in and around our garden. To each of them, no doubt, it's their space. The squirrel that runs along the fence. The woodpecker who loves digestive biscuits, the bees who enjoy the flowers, the mouse that lives in the bottom of the compost bin, and all the plants that are thriving and growing in the borders. For each of these living things, this is their home. They're just as entitled to live here as we are. And we can live quite happily alongside each other and occupy the same space. There's a parallel here with our relationship with the world in which we live. If it wasn't for the rich variety of life, it wouldn't be the beautiful and wonder-filled place that it is. Yet we do need to remember what it means to occupy the same space. This is God's planet that we're called to watch over and to look after. That means valuing the diversity of life and resources and treating it with care and sensitivity. We need to live in partnership with nature. During lockdown, there have been stories of wildlife thriving and of animals being seen in unexpected places. There were goats on the streets of Londudno, deer in housing estates in London, and record numbers of hedgehogs and hopefully hoglets. As human activity pulled back, so nature happily took over. Surely we have something to learn about how changes to our lifestyle can have a big impact on the other residents of our planet. So I will enjoy my garden, but try to remember it's not mine to keep, but mine to share. Let's pray. Loving God, thank you for green spaces, for gardens, for countryside. Thank you for the wonder of your creation Remind us that we don't own this planet, but we share it. Help us to value the richness of creation and do what we can to preserve it and help it to flourish. Amen.